Hello everybody. I wanted to share a little intro of the uh, Edison robot. We'll breathe things. There's a nice little Esm block. It's you know fits in the palm of your hand kind of thing. You can add Legos onto it. It has two motors. The wheels are removable as long as you've got some other sticks to put into them to make other things happen. And of course, yes, you can add onto there. Here is the battery compartment. It takes four triple A's. Just make sure you put them in correctly. Sometimes this squeeze things a little bit difficult. Um, it has a clap sensor. It has um, three things on here and three things on this side, the counterparts. So there is a red LED, an infrared LED, and a light sensor. The infrared LED is for the distance detector and there is an infrared sensor here for that. And then on the bottom, this is just you know the, roll, the smooth rolling part, but here is a distance sensor, is, or a line sensor, line follower. Um, and this is the on off switch, which is really pain to use with your finger, so you're gonna wanna have something else, pen, pencil, tweezers, screwdriver, um, to turn it on and off and this you can still add some Legos on here So we've got line follower. We've got distance sensor. We've got some lights um, We've got a speaker and we have a clap detector um, The light detector is like uh, following uh, Flashlight or going on when it goes dark or going on when it goes light kind of thing um, How do you code this well, it's got its own connector which plugs in there and then as you notice this is a audio jack so an audio plug so your device has to have an audio jack which is not as prevalent anymore as it used to be um, so let's go over to the web um, so meetedison.com uh, they've got a nice website talk you know through why and what and where and how um, Talk to you about inputs and outputs and sensors, you know, they're pretty good websites and pretty good documentation um, Works with Lego they talk about Of course when I click it, it's gonna take a while um, they do sell a little kit also that's a small set of Legos to build with there's the kit they sell, the parts to the kit. Um, and the nice thing, they've got a lot of documentation, a lot of lessons, a lot of examples. So we got Ed Blocks lessons, Ed Scratch, and Ed Pie, because there are actually three ways that you can program your Edison. You can do it with block, blocks, which I actually call icons. Um, and then add scratch, which I call blocks, and then Python. Um, so that's nice. So you have one device that you can work through the different layers, different levels of programming. They also have a real nice YouTube site with examples and instructions and help. Uh, pretty, very supportive. So you've got some good resources, and then you code it. You don't have to download anything. It's browser-based. So this is the browser for blocks that they call blocks and I call icons. This is the browser for scratch and this is the browser for Python. How do you get to those browsers? Well, you click on programming and you choose, you know, whichever one you want and say add blocks and they're going to talk to you about add blocks a little bit, but then just scroll down a little bit and say, Hey, you access add blocks online at edblocksapp.com. It says, welcome, do you want to launch this? And that gives you a little get started. And they say, yeah, I want to launch that. And then they have some an example code there for you. So I'll just jump over to mine. Um, you've got drive, so here are the icons for drive. We've got forward, backwards, left, right. Um, and this is actually, um, if you hover, 
drive forward while on a white surface, drive backwards, drive, turn left while on a white surface, um, stop. Line follower, line follower until you run into something, until an obstacle is detected actually. Um, line follower infinite. And then you can even set uh, your drive speed to um, slow, normal, fast. The numbers here are to adjust time. So see, I've got some blocks down here for backwards. So you just do it in seconds. Um, outputs. We've got lights. Obviously, drop-down menus you talk to the kids about. And then we've got some music. That's just a beep. I'm not quite sure we won't, why we want to beep. And, and I don't know anything about music, but that's whole notes, half notes, quarters, probably eighths, maybe? Nope, yep, oh, yep. Um, so you can talk about notes, and yes, the drop-down menus to get whichever note that is. So we can get some music reading in here. But it's nice that they, if you hover, they tell you what it is. Um, set metronome, oh, I forgot the output. The, the IR lights and the IR sensor can send messages to other, um, other Edison's. So you can send an infrared message and this is send blue message. So the other Edison has to, you know, be looking to receive blue message. I don't know why they call them. They just use colors, um, instead of numbers. So just send a mess, send. There's no message. It's actually just, you know, send a notification, basically. Um, let's see. We have weights, different weights. I mean, wait till clap, wait till the obstacle detected, wait for that message. And there are blue, pink, green. What's that going to be? Violet, orange, purple. Indigo. Sorry. And then some control features, repeats, for how many times you want it to repeat. Um, repeat until you press the different buttons on top, which I probably didn't really talk about, which I'll get back to them because they're coming to how do we code it. And then starts. When, how do, when do you want to start? Start obstacle detected. Start um, one clap, two clap. Which button? Messages. Oh, it also can talk, have, can be programmed to hear from a remote control. Now, how, I just you just grab blocks, drag them down, attach them, trash can down there, bottom right. So I've got a code here, ready to go. How do you do this? You click Program Edison up in the top. And it says make sure you're connected to the headphone jack. So I'm going to connect to the headphone jack, um, and then you got to turn it on. So let me get. The, and then you're gonna you know gonna turn it on, you're gonna get ready, and then you're gonna press program. So let me skip up back over to camera. So I'm gonna turn it on. And it gave me a little beep and it's flashing lights. And how you tell you're ready to record is you press the round button. It's round, it's record, stop, and play for the most part. Unless you put in those commands, hey, do this until I press the button kind of thing. You can use the buttons during a program. But for the beginning, you press record, and it's ready to record because it beeped at me, and the lights are now solid. And now I would go back to the uh, program medicine, click program medicine, and you should hear some sound, kind of like a um, old-fashioned. Um, modem and now it's flashing the lights saying hey we're ready so you know I unhook it and then since I just said you know I'm play so I, I'll just press start go backward go forward play some music and turn around and it's done and if I press play if I press play it's supposed to play that it's supposed to just run that program again. Wonder what it was thinking. Oh, I'm still flashing my oh, I'm flashing my light on off. It's still in the program. I forgot I had the, the program flashing lights. Hmm. 
many times did I have a flash? Okay, now it's ready to, to go again. So press again. Let's go backwards, go forwards. Play some music. Spin around. Flash some lights. So that's still part of the program. I can stop it. And you see it's now flashing off alternating. So let's take a look at Scratch. So again, Scratch, as we go up in levels, we get we get more control over the uh, robot. Um, for example, turns, you can now, like down here, I can have the I can do slow turns, I can do arcs by having the motors at two different speeds. On um, the icons, the blocks that they call it, you can't do that, it's just turn. Um, all this forwards until we now have um, you know LEDs not much information music back to it's just one um, line that has drop down menus instead of all the different ones mess up tempo easier play music in background might be important this is the same kind of events line trackers control uh, now we get ifs repeats untils so we get more control again how do you program it you put some stuff in here you press program you plug it into the bottom make sure that plugged in the headphone jack you press the round record button well you, you make sure your Edison's on press the round record button the light should go solid and you hit program And we got some sound happening, which means it's transferring the code. And then it beeps, and then it's flashing at me. And then I'll put it down. Let's go back to webcam. I forget what this one does. It's ready. Right. Oh. There's that. There's that big arc that you can do forward, backwards, play some music, turn around. Here's the, that turn where you can do a, a big arc instead of um, just spin on a wheel. So, that's nice. And of course, let's we want to see Python. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's go to Python. Uh, Python, this beginning part is just standard, has to be there. Uh, they've got some nice examples over here. And notice they they just pop up here. This is follow torch. This was my untitled. If I want line tracking, there's line tracking. There's follow torch. Um, they give you some examples of how uh, the code is written. Yes, there's a lot of ed dot. Ed dot. That, that's the Python kind of thing. You're, because you're talking to the robot. This is a line that talks to, to the robots. So it's got to say ed dot kind of thing. Um, they've got over here a very nice um, documentation. That actually, just all this stuff you click on and say, hey, I want to know about how to write a code that uses this. Play tone. I want to know about drive. And they give you, here's all the different things drive can do. Here's how, how you do drive. Here's about speeds. Distances. Oh, yeah, you can, you can have it be measured in centimeters, inches, or time. But you got to tell it. Am I doing it in centimeters, inches, or time? Um, for my units um, and then they'll give you examples of how the code looks but you can't copy I've not been able to figure out you can't copy from here but the neat thing um, as you start typing it pops up so I'm doing ed drive. it starts popping up what has to happen and if you click on it it puts it in now direction, okay, I need to do ed dot forward. There we go, forward left, forward right, just forward. It starts popping up the autofill kind of thing. Um, then you click on them and it goes together. So nice resources. Um, again, Python's more complex. So you've got a, it's a little bit more. So again, you, uh, you know, we hit we hit program. We make sure our cables plugged into our audio jack. We make sure the two two parts are plugged in the bottom of the Edison. Then we hit 
the round button on the Edison. I don't have a, a way to do split screen, sorry. It beeped at me, it stopped. I'll come back in. And then I hit program. It's sending a program. Python's going to take longer to send. It's apparently more commands. Even though I have it doing pretty much the same thing. It beeped. It's flashing at me. So again, when you want to when you want to code, you you know, plug this in here. You press the round button, and those would go solid. Saying, "Hey, we're recording." Okay, what did I make? Have this do? Play. Go forward. Go backwards. Spin. And just turn quickly. That was an interesting. Forward, backwards. So there was two. So I was able to get two different spins in here. One just kind of pivot, and the other was a jump turn kind of thing. Um, and then I had a weight. I had a weight, so I wanted to make sure the uh, song got done. The song, the tune. Apparently didn't need to wait that long, and that's ready. So, there's some there's some uh, Edison. Thank you for joining me.